Hi everyone! Today I have a bit of a silly vlog inspired by one of my other hobbies, knitting. So I've been knitting for about as long as I've been seriously coding. I like to tell people that it's like fidgeting, except I end up with socks every now and then. Recently I've been thinking about the parallels between knitting and coding, and I've been surprised to think of quite a few. First, both code and knitting deal with input. While code deals with strings of ones and zeros, knitting deals with some sort of yarn. Similarly, they both have output, unless you really muck something up. A bit of my code may print out different values depending on what number it's given, and my knitting sessions may eventually produce a sweater. So input and output seem pretty obvious, but knitting patterns also act a bit like code. In order to save on space, complex knitting patterns will often tell you how to do something once, like a particular bit of lace, and then refer back to it when they need you to do it. Sounds like a function, doesn't it? They also save on space by including loops. My lace patterns will tell me to repeat a bit of lace a certain number of times, while many of my sock patterns tell me to keep knitting until the leg part is a certain length. Sounds like counting and conditional loops, right? Knitting patterns even have variables. Rather than making a pattern for each size, pattern authors will often have you select a size and then change certain numbers throughout the pattern to make it bigger or smaller. Also, believe it or not, knit items can also store data. Here, someone made a scarf that recorded all of the temperatures for an entire year. People have also knit scarves with messages coded into Morse code and even binary. Knitting patterns also have a bit of error handling in them. If you have to add or remove a bunch of stitches in one row, most authors will tell you how many stitches you should have once you're done. On the non-technical side of things, both coding and knitting can sometimes cause a bit of awe from those that don't do them. Most people find both coding and making things with yarn and sticks to be utterly baffling. Weirdly, the other thing many coders and knitters deal with is devaluation of what we do. A complex website with good design and thoughtful UX should cost someone a pretty penny, yet I've heard requests that wouldn't cover an hour of my time. With knitting, knit objects take quite a bit of time to crank out, and materials are often not cheap. Yet it's not uncommon for people to offer target prices for a sweater that took 100 hours to make and used $100 worth of yarn. Finally. Both are funny fields in that you can learn the basics of both relatively quickly, but they take much, much longer to master. I can teach someone to knit over a few lunches, but it can take years before you're turning out complex cable or fair owl sweaters or socks that actually fit. Similarly, I've run workshops where I've taught someone to code in a day, but even if they know the difference between an int and a float and can print Hello World, they're still a ways away from spinning up complex networks of interconnecting apps. However, with both, once you get the hang of it, a world of possibilities opens up. When I finally gained confidence with my knitting, suddenly nothing was impossible as long as it involved yarn. I was making complex lace and cable items and whipping up parrots for last minute pirate costumes. And with coding, once my students get the hang of it, they realize they can solve all sorts of problems if they just find the right API and right set of libraries. And finally, both are best learned with a bit of caution thrown to the wind. I didn't learn to fix my mistakes until I made them, whether it was picking up a drop stitch or fixing an utterly broken function. And that's all I have today. Thanks for bearing with me, and I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, either about coding or knitting, track me down on Twitter or hit me up in the comments. And if you knit or crochet, track me down on Ravelry as The Real Katie.